Hello, DJ Stevens here. This is a Twitter account of uh, Benjamin Delpy, Jean Tikiwi, the author uh, of Mimikatz, with uh, his profile picture here, a PNG file. And I did download that PNG file and I created from that PNG file another PNG file into which I have injected Mimikatz.exe, a small tribute to Benjamin. So here I have the original one and here the one into which I also injected Mimikatz. As you can see it also renders perfectly. So let's take a look with my analysis tool for PNG files, PNG dump. That's the output that we have. So a header, the expected header is present, and then a list of chunks. Each chunk has a position, of course. An identifier, four bytes, i header, i dot, i end. A length, because most chunks have data. And then there is also a CRC32 code for that data that my tool validates. The i header chunk has information like the width, the height, the bits, the color type, compression method, filter method, interlace method. Compression method, the standard only supports one compression method, zero, that is Z-lib compression. The bitmap is Z-lib compressed and stored in these IDAT chunks. So all of these chunks, except the last one, have a size of 2000 hexadecimal, something that can be chosen. And if you extract the data from all of those IDATs and put them together, then you can decompress the data. So my tool here found 13 IDATs, total length 102,372, and this can be decompressed into the bitmap, 230,640 bytes. The size of one line of pixels, the scan line, is 960 bytes. And that corresponds to the calculation here. And then each line is filtered according to a certain type. For example, uh, subtraction filter, up filter, that's what we have here, all normal. We have in total 240 of those filters, scan lines, 240 of scan lines, and that corresponds to the height. So all of this here is normal. This is extra information that I'm still working on. Okay. Now, let's look at that special PNG file that I made. And that's what you get. Way more output. Let's pipe this through more. Okay, and so we have the same header and then IDATs, but we have way more IDATs. 52 in total. Length is larger, decompressed length is also larger. Scan line size 960, that's okay. The last scan line is too short by 612 bytes, so that's abnormal. And then we have the five normal filters, non sub up average part, but then also a bunch of unknown filters. And that is because of the Mimikatz executable that I appended after the bitmap. That's what we are seeing here. The height as set in the header is 240, but if we count the number of scan lines, the number of fields, we have 909, so there is extra data. Uh, the tool extracts that extra data, that's the size, and as you can see, it starts with MZ, so this is the PE file, Mimikatz. I can select all of the IDATs. 
So that gives me the compressed bitmap. That's a compressed bitmap. I can also select the decompressed bitmap. So that is the bitmap and then followed by the Mimikatz executable. And finally, here in this image, because it's there extra data, I can also select that extra data like this. That's the Mimikatz executable. I can do a binary dump and pipe this into PE check, my tool to analyze PE files. And it is indeed an PE file. And let's erp for Mimi. And here we have Mimi cuts. If we calculate the hash, well actually PE check shows us the hash at the beginning here. Let me take the hash, look that up on virus total. So that is indeed Mimikatz with, as can be expected, a really high number of detections. And this is also an older version of Mimikatz. And if I take the hash of that special PNG file that I made, so again, the profile picture of Benjamin LP followed by the Mimikatz executable. If I look that up, I did submit that about two weeks ago to virus total. Here you have it, as you can see, uh, zero detections. So this is my small tribute to all of the work that uh, Benjamin Delpy has been doing for us. Merci Benjamin.